Hey everyone and welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to show you how I made this motorized turntable for displaying my 3D prints. All the 3D printed parts have been designed in Onshape and they're ready to print, so let's dive into it. Now that everything's printed, I can go ahead and assemble. Everything besides the 3D printed parts was around $25, so pretty cheap. And the full list of parts is in the description down below. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the base and first just place the bearing into its position. I could put some glue around it, but for now I'm gonna leave it as just a press fit. And then I'll go ahead and slide the two zip ties into their respective slots. Next, I'm going to carefully thread the wires for the 9 volt battery clip through the hole in the small battery compartment on the underside of the base. I'll just press the switch into its spot and then go ahead and get ready to solder my wires to the switch. So I'll solder my positive terminal for the battery to one end of the switch, and then I'll take a spare wire and solder that to the other end of the switch. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and solder my spare wire to one of the ends of my DC motor. It doesn't really matter which side, the only difference will be counterclockwise versus clockwise rotation of the turntable. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and solder my negative end of my battery clip to the other end of my DC motor. And then I'll zip tie the motor into place and press fit my smaller gear onto the motor. Next, I'll connect up my battery and close that up with the cover that will snap into place. Go ahead and give it a test and place the top of my turntable into position. Overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it runs really smoothly for being a $25 turntable with a lot of 3D printed components. I'm really looking forward to using it to display my prints in future videos. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video and want more 3D printing in your life, please like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.